WWE Universe. Welcome back to the WWE Talk Show channel with your host, E.G. Flames. Here with ladies and gentlemen, three breaking news stories about SummerSlam coming up August 19th, 2018. Now everybody, if you remember this superstar, if you do not, you're going to get a quick reminder. Former NXT Tag Team Champion, former SmackDown Tag Team Champion, and former Raw Tag Team Champion, Jason Jordan, has been out of action since March of 2018. Now, it was supposed to be happening that Jason Jordan would return to the Extreme Rules pay-per-view to interfere in Seth Rollins' IC title match on Death was. That's what that was supposed to happen, but something happened. I think that got crossed off. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it has been rumored that Jason Jordan in the coming weeks will be returning to Monday Night Raw to help out Chad Gable in some sort of an attack from another tag team. It's possible that it'll be the Authors of Pain or even the Ascension. It's possible that one of those, or probably the Revival. It's been pot. It's been rumored that the Revival will be in a singles match one of the members against Chad Gable in the coming weeks and Chad Gable will be uh, picking up the victory and then the revival gets upset and starts beating down on Chad Gable and Jason Jordan comes out helping Chad Gable starting off a feud between American Alpha and the revival leading up to a match at SummerSlam now we do not know if these rumors are true but if they are I think that would be a great way to bring Jason Jordan back to the top of the tag team division after the Kurt Angle father thing. Just like, why Vince? Why would you do this? I think it made no sense, but that's all in the past. It was all in the past. This is the future right now, ladies and gentlemen. And if this does happen, I think this is a great way to bring back American Alpha. And possibly he could be going after the Raw Tag Team titles in the near future, but we do not know. Other breaking news, if you did not know, the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose is recovered from his injuries and is scheduled to be returning in the coming weeks on Monday Night Raw to help to, to team up with Seth Rollins in a tag team match, or even better, going up against Seth Rollins at SummerSlam. Possibly, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a match between Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre in the coming weeks with Dolph Ziggler at ringside. And then Drew McIntyre once again picking up the victory thanks to the help of Dolph Ziggler. And then Dean Ambrose comes out just like kind of like the American Alpha kind of thing. Except Ambrose shockingly does not help Seth Rollins, but helps McIntyre and Ziggler. Now, I think that would be a great idea to start off the feud of Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose because I think that's what should happen. Because Dean Ambrose, the lunatic French, I think he could be better as a heel, honestly. We've all seen Seth Rollins as a singles heel. What? Really well. Really well. We've not, we have not seen Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose on the main roster as heels. And that could happen. But hopefully, if this does happen, this will become a match at SummerSlam. And it would be awesome. So ladies and gentlemen, the last breaking news story is in regards to the main event of SummerSlam, the WWE Universal Championship match between Brock Lesnar against either the Big Dog Roman Reigns or the powerhouse Bobby Lashley. Now why I'm saying these two superstars is because we had two triple threat matches this past Monday Night on Raw. The first triple threat match was between Finn Balor, Roman Reigns, and Drew McIntyre. The winner was Roman Reigns. The other triple threat match was between Bobby Lashley, Elias, and Seth Rollins, and Bobby Lashley won. In those two triple threat matches, we're going to determine who would go on to next week on Monday Night Raw to determine who would face Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam for the WWE Universal title. And this match has not happened yet. 
on Raw yet. But we've seen it at Extreme Rules, but we are going to see it again. And I think this ma this match will be a better match than Extreme Rules. It just looked like Roman Reigns did all the work, but hopefully they do better on this match because Extreme Rules was just... No. But the rumor winner of this one-on-one -on -one match is... A disqualification. Brock Lesnar is rumored to be interfering in this singles match next week on Monday Night Raw, making it a triple threat match at SummerSlam for the WWE Universal Heavyweight Championship. Now, I think this is the best way to make a match. I know a lot of people really wanted to see Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar. A lot of people, not really a lot of people, but some people wanted to see Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. A lot of people wanted to see Braun Strowman cash in his contract against Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam, making a singles match. But the big, what's rumored to be happening is making it a triple threat match. And then Brock Lesnar is actually the superstar rumor to be retaining the WWE Universal Championship. Now that is a little suspicious. Why would you think that, EG? Why would you think Brock Lesnar's rumor to be retaining that Universal Championship? Why do you think that? Why do you think that? Well, what I think is gonna be happening at some time, I feel like if this match does happen as a triple threat match, I think that what should happen is Brock retaining the title in the triple that match, Strowman cashing in, beating Brock, winning the WWE Universal Championship. Because I do not think anyone else deserves to be pinned in this match, in this Universal Championship match, than Brock Lesnar. If I think Brock would win, who do I think he would pin? I'm pretty sure he would pin Bobby Lashley. Because he's already pinned Roman Reigns, so I think it makes more sense to pin Bobby Lashley. And if this does happen, what I want to happen is Strowman cashing in, beating Brock Lesnar to become the new WWE Universal Champion, but we do not know if this is going to happen. If this does happen, I think this is the best way to make Strowman a bigger monster than the Beast, because the last time we saw Lesnar and Strowman go at it one on one. Was no mercy 2017, where this that match was pretty boring. They just wanted to push Brock more and it didn't really work out. Even though Brock still won, so I think the best way to push Strowman more is to make him pin the retaining Universal Champion Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. Now, ladies and gentlemen, comment down below. What do you think about these rumors? I think these would be great. For SummerSlam. Triple Threat Main Event. Universal Championship Match at SummerSlam. Return of the Lunatic Fringe at SummerSlam. Making it a match between Ambrose and Rollins. And American Alpha against the Revival. Now that sounds like great returns. Don't you think? Don't you think about it. Think about that for a second. What a great SummerSlam that would be if those things happen at SummerSlam. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end the video here. Once again, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Make sure to, once again, click that bell because if you do not, you will not be able to watch these videos, ladies and gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to once again end it here. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, follow me, or add me on Snapchat. And it's been EG Flames WWE Talk Show, and he is out.